brand new things. This is a chromium barrel. We call them bicolors because it's a striped barrel. And if, if you, it's big, there's colorless sections and there's areas of distinctive, particularly under magnification, distinctive green stripes. I had it analyzed. Yeah, here's a box. Some of these show. That one has a real distinctive zone there. There's some there. Sometimes there's multiple zones uh, together. Sometimes they're real thin. And But within the zone, we had it analyzed by one of the top research guys at East Smith University in New Orleans and up at the main yeah, museum. And there is chromium within the barrel itself, and there's also a chromium uh, mica called fuchsite, and they found tiny particles of the chrome mica within that as well. And I had first seen crystals of this years ago, and I've been on a search trying to determine where they had come from, up in the mountains of Pakistan, because I'm the world's expert on location. I thought maybe they were from Doko, which is a pigmentite up in the Basha Valley, which has produced nice green emeralds, but that's all on microcline, and this was in a really decomposed schist, so I know it was a different type of deposit. And finally, in June of this year, last year, I was traveling there, and as I was leaving the, the Brawlden Valley, the Shigar Valley, I stopped in the village of uh, Hyderabad. And while I was there, there was a man that had been up in the mining area and had this. And I bought this lot after three hours of negotiation. Some were crystals, and some were rough. The crystals were a little bit etched at the top and not perfect, but the ones that were not broken, the ones that were broken, you know, on both sides, I ended up cutting the transparent areas. And I did a lot of step cuts to show that you could see the, the, stripe, the stripes in it. And the name of the mine is Shandu Feng Ma, which means in Balti, the local Balti language, means yogurt churn. And they have these big wooden, like four foot long wooden staves there, and you have a big plunger like that, and you add milk in it, and you put in a fermenting yeast, and you plunge it and plunge it until you have a, a lassi, or it's, a, it's a, like a, it's a real runny yogurt or kefir, I guess, is the closest thing you have in this country. So it's actually, oh, yes. it's actually from the yogurt churn mine. <laughs> from the yogurt churn mine? The yogurt like churn mine. So. Anyway, and this will be in uh, GEMA, uh, the British Gemological Association. We're uh, doing an article, and an upcoming article will be up here probably in the uh, uh, fall issue, probably of 2017. It'll take probably, you know, three to six months to get all the analytical work done, or more analytical work done, and some other ones. And I'm going to donate a nice one to the Smithsonian for their collection as well. I'm going to get And Yvonne's going to get some, too. That's right. Yvonne's going to buy a few right now. <laughs> like, how the yields changed or what's going on, because I get questions about cobalt all the time, and I'm like, I can't do it. You mean the, the Vietnam? Yeah, the Vietnam cobalt spinel. Like, uh, Vietnam cobalt spinel, I, when was it first? Five years ago? I'm trying to remember. Maybe. I did a, there's a report in Gems yeah, and Gemology about it. I first went up in... Uh, the, there was a tiny, you go up to Ampu, Ampu village is about 16 kilometers from Lukian, which is about 9, 10 miles, and you do kind of a half circle loop like that, as to the, I believe it's the southeast, southeast of Lukian, and you climb up from about 2,500, 250 feet up to, Lukian is about, or I mean, Ampu is about 1,150 feet elevation, and there's a flat area, kind of a little bit of a plateau you get up there, and there's a rice field there. And Koi Nan means in, in Vietnamese like uh, rice fields or flat rice field area like that, a rice field area sort of. And right where you join the karst, they have these limestone karst that just climb up like dragon fins at the edge of there. Right at the edge of that, they were digging that, and they were finding the first of these cobalt spinels. And then about a year or two later, about, I think it was exactly one kilometer, one mile, almost directly south, there's another village called Ko Kha. And at the village of Ko Kha, they were digging around amongst the cassava plants and these amongst these boulders, all you know, this weird shaped limestone and that. There's little pockets of you know volcanic soil and stuff like that. And they and they were uh, growing you know the cassava there. But they were also starting to dig and they found that's a second area. So I have them labeled on the back. Some of these are point down and some are Ko But I have not been able to buy the last time I saw some rough there. The rough is fifteen hundred dollars a carat. If you buy, if, if you find it, yeah. no, I mean it's real expensive. And if you buy one lot of it, a lot of it's fairly opaque. You have to get small sections of it. Some lots that I bought, I had two percent yield, which is a horrible yield. And uh, so the yield is terrible. The prices are expensive, and now there's almost no production. And I don't know if, if, if it is found that it's immediately going elsewhere. They simply not find it anymore. I, I tend to believe there's just not much more found. So I have not been able to find anything that was close to. It close to reasonable price now. In fact, actually, uh, nothing, nothing offered to me, you know, now for almost two years. And I have one more parcel 
I think there's one or two parcels of stuff that was cut that I haven't worked up yet from before. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'll still kind of trickle it out. Which is that you open up the pack and you see thousands, not thousands, many little one and a half, I, doing grading one and a half and two, two millimeter stones is not real fun. But uh, and you'll, you tend to go pink going to the carpet and you lose it. So. But uh, anyway, I'll get around to it as these, as these get, and these are getting a little bit depleted. But any larger ones there are, are, I don't think I have anything over 20 points left. So the two bags I have left. So. Thank you.